Chapter 6 Things you might not know about Google My Business Categories Google My Business Categories are often an overlooked tactic by many people that work in the local search space. According to most local search ranking factors survey, proper Google My Business Category associations are the number three search ranking factor for local packs. It has been one of the top ranking factors. Hence, find some things about Google My Business Categories that people often aren't aware of. 1. Google constantly changes the names of categories. For example, Lincoln Mercury Dealer got renamed to Lincoln Dealer in the fall of 2018 and Natural Foods Store got renamed to Natural Goods Store in December. It's important to know that Google can rename them so you're not thinking it's a new category that has been added. 2. Google constantly removes categories and adds new ones. For example, in the first six months of 2018 in the US, Google added 34 categories and removed 36. One that they added was fitness class and one that they removed was dog sitter. Three new categories can give you a boost in ranking. Google had just recently added a category for this business type so most of the competition didn't have the new category yet. By being one of the first to add the new category, he was able to move to the first page overnight. Four categories have different names in different countries. For example, in Canada Google My Business calls the real estate agent category estate agents. This is likely because categories in Canada tend to be more similar to the way they are named in the UK. 5. The categories you see on Google might not be the way they appear in the Google My Business dashboard. Every category has a GCID which does not change and a category name which varies based on the country. Sometimes Google displays the GCID in the search results which can be really confusing if you're trying to figure out why your competitor is showing a category that you don't appear to have as an option in the Google My Business dashboard. In this example, Brody Clark asked on Twitter why he couldn't find the heating contractor category to add to his client. This is because heating contractor is actually the GCID for the category that's named Central Heating Service in Australia. 6. The concept of category dilution is not true according to our testing. This concept states that you could weaken your ranking for a category if you have more than one category on your Google My Business listing. Instead of putting all your ranking power in one category, it would theoretically be dispersed amongst all the ones you pick. We have found the opposite to be true. Adding more categories often results in an increase in ranking and clicks because you now show up for more related queries. For example, we added the category employment attorney to a law firm in Florida when we noticed that they take a lot of employment related cases. This is what happened to his ranking 48 hours later for local rankings for the query employment lawyer city name. 7. The primary category holds more ranking power. A business should pick their primary category wisely because it holds more ranking weight than secondary categories. The primary category is the first category you select in the Google My Business dashboard.